This video is proudly sponsored by Cameron Hoskin TV, the official YouTube channel for up and coming UK singer and songwriter Cameron Hoskin. He really is at the forefront of British rising talent, so why not check him out before he's number one on all the charts? Be sure to head over to his channel because he's got a variety of music videos and covers planned for the coming months, and he'd really appreciate your support, so make sure to subscribe while you're there. Talking of support, his brand new single, You Don't Know, is now available to purchase on iTunes, so check the description for download links and more. Thank you for supporting the likes of Cameron, who are supporting me by sponsoring my videos. For links to any of the sites mentioned in this message, check the description below. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brittany Louise Taylor, and I watch Ask the Teen on Teen Talks. <laughs> Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Teen. Before I put up the episode number, because obviously I'm sure you can guess it from the title, I just wanted to talk to you quickly about this. Now this is a uh, book, as you can see, it's Southern Fishing in the Yemen by Paul Torday. Now a film version of this has just been released in cinemas this week and I really hope uh, if you've seen it you liked it, we saw it, um, but I got given this free copy of the book uh, to give away. So if you'd like to win it, more details on that coming in the news talks. But so watch out if you would like to win this awesome book. It's really cool, and if you haven't seen the film yet, it's worth going to see. But so anyway, this is Ask the Teen episode number 73, and now on with the questions. Tom Clements 2010 asks, who is your least favourite singer or band? I did say not to ask this, which is why he probably asked it. But so my least favourite, I don't think I really have one. I mean, loads of people would say Rebecca Black, Justin Bieber, people like that. But to be honest, I think anyone that's got the guts to go out there and give it a go and put themselves out in the spotlight and try and give it a go at singing is commendable, even if they're rubbish. So to be honest, I don't have a least favourite singer or band. Let's be positive, not negative, okay? Next question. The Random Pasta asks me if you're auditioning for The Voice, and I love The Voice by the way, in case you didn't know, and all four judges turned around, which one would you go with? Well, I would probably have to go with the one, the only, Final Ninja Dog. But you're not a judge, are you? Come on, go down. Okay, I'd probably go with Jessie J, to be honest. Or will I am? What about you? Let me know in the comments below. Baptism on Fire saw the one and only agent trailer for my upcoming film, movie, short film thing that's going online this weekend, make sure you go and check it out please. And he asked me, do you have to find empty places to film because it must be a bit weird having to walk around in an agent costume with guns and not have to explain yourself or something along that lines. Well actually no, I don't find empty places to film. If I, and I, I give this message out to anyone that's interested in videography and that kind of thing, if you want to film on a boat, you email someone that you find that owns a boat. That's all I do. If I'm interested in something, I speak to them and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, they allow me to use their site. So no, I do not just kind of find somewhere empty. If it's in the middle of public, I walk around in public. I mean, for example, with the Agent movie, me and Final Ninja Dog were walking through a beach, down a beach, and uh, in front of loads of people that must have thought we were crazy, because I was covered in mud and we were wearing suits. But hey ho, we still did it. That's YouTube for you. Random Montori 900 asks me, do you play the drums? Well, no, I don't actually. I don't play any instruments at the minute. I used to, but that's another question, so make sure you ask it below. Anyway, on to the next bit of the show. Now it's time for the news talks everyone, so let me get the news talking to you through my mouth because I kind of talk it and you hear it. Anyway, before I confuse anyone, two things to talk to you about this week. First of all, Cheryl Cole is releasing her new single which is called Call My Name and the first time you can hear it is on Radio 1 tomorrow morning which is the 20th of April. So make sure you go and check it out, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Uh, she's describing it as a bit of a dance club track. If you've heard it already, if you're watching this a few, a few days after it's been posted, let me know what you think below. If you haven't heard it yet, go and check it out and we can talk about that below as well. But the other thing to talk about is obviously my contest this week uh, for this amazing book. Uh, now a motion picture film, it is Salmon Fishing in the Yemen by Paul Torday. Uh, if you, as I said, you have to go and see it and stuff, it's really cool. Uh, and uh, actually Ewan McGregor was doing some interviews about it recently. Emily Blunt is in it too, and they both did an amazing job as to all of the other main actors and actresses involved. Now if you would like to win this completely new, I mean, until now I haven't opened it, but I've opened it now, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, so it's completely new. If you would like to own this copy, all you have to do is comment on the Agent movie when it comes out. So I want you to go to the Agent movie, like it, and comment below. Just nothing to do with the book at all, just something about the movie, something you like, 
and put at the end the number one. Everyone that puts the number one at the end gets entered into a drawer, if that's what you want to call it, and one person's going to win Salmon Fishing in the Yemen, a copy of the book. Um, I will sign it if you want me to, but if not, then that's fine, because I'm not in it at all. I could draw myself on. No, I'm joking, but if you want to win it, let me know and I can sign it if you want me to or whatever. Thank you, and now on to the team's top ten. Now it's time to find out who's at the top of the team's top 10 this week. If you have not voted yet for next week, you can do. It's in the description below the sponsored information. So first of all, at number 10 this week, it's Kelly Clarkson. She's making her chart debut. At number 9, she's fallen again. It's Lady Gaga. At number 8, it's One Direction. 7, he's happy to be back in the chart. We're not happy to have him back. It's Rapper G. At number 6, it's The Wanted. At 5, JLS. Number 4, Bruno Mars is in the chart again this week. Number three, she's going back up the chart. It's Jessie J. Is this a sign now that her laser light video is out? Now, number two, she has gone down one on last week's total, which means it's Katy Perry at number two. And who is number one? We've got a brand new number one that wasn't here last week. But he has been there before. Marcus Collins pole vaults back to the top of the chart. Is he your favourite? Is he not your favourite? Make sure he or your favourite is at the top of the chart next week. All you have to do is let us know in the comments below who you would like to get in the chart. But more importantly, go to the voting page. As I said already, look in the description below the sponsored information. There is a link. Just follow it and you can go and vote for your favourite. Make sure they're number one next week. Thank you for checking out another episode of Ask Team, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, then I'm sorry about that, but please don't dislike it. Just like it anyway. But anyway, so don't forget to enter the giveaway for this book. It's well worth a read. I mean, I better go get reading it now. But before I do read it, and not this copy, I've got another one. But before I do get reading it, um, my shout out this week goes to Final Ninja Dog. So go check him out. He always helps me with Ask the Teens and does an amazing job with it. He does the lighting and all of the different stuff, all of the different components that make Ask the Teen. He's involved with, apart from editing, which I do myself. But, so thank you to him for all of his help. Make sure to go and check him out. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Or if you have, leave him a channel comment and say we're grateful for you helping with Arsa Team because you do a great job or something like that. But anyway, so if you look up there, you can find my Facebook, my Twitter, and of course my second channel. That's The Teen Talks, Greg Frog, and of course uh, the one and only The Teen 2. Make sure to go check all three of them out. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Remember that agent video that's coming out this weekend. Go in the description, go below that, go to the comments. And when you get to the comments, leave a comment, whatever, I don't know. Really liked it. One at the end. That one will let me know that you want to win this and you'll be entered into the draw. So good luck and I will see you next week. Bye for now, everyone.